All right, so when you remove this exhaust manifold, uh, you see here, that's where the thermostat goes. Water comes in through here, runs, goes around, and uh, when that thermostat opens up right here, the water has a chance to, uh, to go past. There's a little pilot hole in there somewhere. Looking like it's probably pretty crusted up. And uh, I need to make sure this thing gets a soak before it goes. And then uh, you see the first rubber pretty beat up. This uh, plate comes next. Thankfully still in good shape. And then this uh, final piece that touches on, there's the plate. And you got uh, this final piece that touches on to the block. And when I was taking that off, pretty much half came off, half stayed on kind of thing. You can see the bits and pieces. So these are the new parts that I ordered. And uh, you can see that rubber and this thing is stiff as a board and this one's nice and nice and fresh and uh this guy really looks good compared to you know this mangy mcgee over here especially when you consider let's take a look at this manifold there's a lot happening inside of here you got oil combustion happening you've got water coming through here going into the block and one of the first things I did was uh, poke that thing out and hose it out and finally get some water going through there with a garden hose and a coat hanger and a lot of poking and scraping uh, you've got exhaust you can see all the carbon so there's combustion happening and then uh, right here right here that's uh that's where the gas is going in you know so you got a lot of stuff happening right at this exhaust manifold all right on top of itself so i think when this thermostat here when this backed up it couldn't go anywhere it backed up pushed the water here and here into the uh, combustion chamber and from the combustion chamber it ends up in the sump it runs for a while roughens combustion and then you end up with watery oil and a motor that won't start so uh, i took it apart clean up the thermostat it's looking pretty good like i said i'm pumped about my my new walmart spot to get the parts from that's really cool I had this motor up and going before and then when that thermostat went to open up finally cooked out all that salt or whatever to bluey um so we'll see where it goes i have a lot of respect for uh the guy that put that video out it really helped me out and emboldened me to take this thing apart and uh let's get her going so the water line comes in through here here coming down of course it's it's in the, right next to the oil here the oil sump so that's also hey maybe it's that you know but the way this thing was blocked up and the way everything's got started with the thermostat when it got hot makes me suspect the thermostat I'd really like for this motor to get cooking get running again it'd be awesome it's a cool motor and they really like the four strokes this thing comes right off, super easy. Probably need to tighten it in there a little more. But it th this thing was completely locked up and the timing was wrong. So that was fun figuring out how that worked. And uh, then I got it running and then, pow, right in the kisser. Right back to the beginning. So uh, finding diagrams hasn't been that easy. Water goes in here too. But, uh, you know, it's not that bad to figure out either. One of the things that's confusing is uh, that your piston 
Meanwhile, that you're uh, you're still cooling, or you think you're cooling rather, but you're not. Your thermostat hasn't opened up, so you're not really cooling the block until that thermostat opens up. So you think you're okay, but then that motor wouldn't have been okay. You got to really get it hot to make sure that you're cooling the block out. Good stuff. All right, we'll get those, uh, make sure all those passages are opened up and uh, get her going. Get those new gaskets on there. Good times. Let's see how it works out.